Hello my friends, welcome to another video in my little series about the Garmin Montana 700 series, in this case the 700i. I had recently published a video about the um, routing and the differences, how that unit does routing to the 276CX. Um, but there are some things I need to explain, which I figured out now, um, which uh, are a big advantage once you have understood them. Um, and that actually the Montana also seems to import the shaping points, the invisible shaping points in the files, uh, which I thought so far was only a privilege and a function of the 276CX. So let's take a look. So what I've done is creating this long route here, which you see here, which is actually 800, 890 kilometers. So nothing that I would ride in a, in a day or not even in a weekend maybe. Um, but for demonstration purposes, I made it because that route has more than 50 points in there that make up that route. And um, um, you might know that there is, and I've talked about that before, this limit in these outdoor units um, of 50 points for one active route. And I will show you how to get around that now. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to transfer all the points in there into what is called VR points. These are the ones with no alarm. So I'm just marking them all so that they are blue. And I do a right click, respectively control click with a Mac and say uh, no alarm at arrival. I have done that already before, so we are already there. And then I can go down to um, the, um, the, 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 the gear wheel here and say delete root points gone where are you see the route is still there it's start point and end point and we have a lot of route descriptions in there telling turn left turn right do this to that so this information is still in the file and will be later used by the montana actually um, so what i do then is transferring that route actually to um, the montana Actually, I've done a second one. I got the first route, the original one with the 51 waypoints, just to show you. And the second one is the one where I've deleted these points. And now simply by drag and drop, I pull it up here and transfer it to the Montana. Happens quite quickly. You can also use the buttons up there. And then it is important that you do again a control click to, um, to um, disconnect the unit. Here we go. And first, after it has disconnected and even the internal um, um, card has disconnected, I actually pull the block and continue showing you on the Montana itself what's going on. So this would be the manual way to make a route suitable, even with 50 points, to be transferred to a GPS unit and then used there for navigation. However, if you do it this way, like just removing the routing points, or how should I call them, then also in Basecamp you have no possibility of recalculating the route later because you will only get a route from the start to the end point. So it's better to make a duplicate of that simply by marking the route, right clicking it, duplicate, and use one of these two routes um, to remove the routing points while you keep the other original one. That can be automated also in transfer. I forgot to mention that in the first version of this video, so this is actually uh, an insert I'm doing to the first version. So let me show how to do that. So to automate this process, you need to go in the Basecamp menu into the settings. Sorry, again, it's in German here, but I don't really want to reinstall the whole software now just for showing this in YouTube. You will find the settings. It's probably the second menu here also under the Basecamp main menu. And then you end up with this window. You need to go to the transfer settings and choose the right unit. If you, like me, use several ones, several units or you later when you have done the changes click on the use on all devices um, but i kept that now for the 700 only so the 700 and then the first option called routing transfer or route transfer and the first one should read something like when transferring the route to the unit delete all routing points from the routes and you want also the second one maybe send also the original route in case it needs to be recalculated later. And so this will give you the reduced route with no routing points, only the turn-by-turn um, -turn information in the background, 
which will exactly be displayed and used by the unit as you have planned it in Basecamp. And it will give you as a second option with a slightly different name. One has a one at an ending, the other one doesn't. The second file, which is the original root, but this again only makes sense if you have a root with less than 50 points. Otherwise, you will not be able to recalculate it in the unit. You might want to recalculate it maybe later using different settings, internal settings of the GPS, like you have a car profile and you have a motorcycle profile and you want to get quickly to the destination, then you might choose different settings than you originally used in Basecamp to get quicker to your destination. So I have created two routes now and transferred them. The first one is the original one with 51 points in there. And then as I showed you before on the screen, I transferred all these root points into via points and removed them from the root. So the root has just the start and the end point. It's the first one here, just the start and the end point and the hidden instructions in the file where to turn left and turn right. And if I activate that one, you will see it only takes a few seconds and it's importing all that information. It's not asking me for any recalculation settings like uh, preferences, exclusions, calculation methods. It just draws the pink line as it was on the screen. And if I would hit the green start button down there now, um, it would guide me there. This is great because that means I can have routes which have more or which require initially more than 50 points to define them in base camp. Then I remove these, po this, uh, these points and I can still run that route one by one in the unit under the one condition that you use the same map here in Basecamp as there on the screen. The important part here is that you have automatic recalculation shut off in the menu, because what could happen as soon as you leave the route now is that it would recalculate it and somehow probably guide you then directly to the, to the end point of the route. You don't want that. So shut off automatic recalculation. So as a summary, you need to have the same maps on both the GPS and in Basecamp to uh, calculate routes in Basecamp and later transfer them um, to the unit and successfully run them there. That means you can either connect the GPS by cable, wait until it has synchronized with the software and use that map, choose that map which is on the GPS, or you install the same map in the same version on your computer. Second, um, routes with more than 50 points which you have created in Basecamp cannot be used in the unit. So you need to stay below 50 points. Uh, alternative, you reduce it by setting the transfer settings correct, remove all these routing points, however you want to call them, and just get the turn by turn information over to your unit. But then you have no way of recalculating again um, those routes if you want to use different settings. If you then want to run the route to navigate the route, Directly as it was exactly as it was calculated in Basecamp, you use the button start in the top in the bottom. If you want to recalculate it, you click the button on the top and then start it and then choose the appropriate profile and settings you want to use. So I hope this gave you some uh, good input how to uh, best calculate routes in Basecamp and transfer them. To the Garmin Montana series, even if they have more, if even if they require more than 50 points. And uh, I would actually like to thank um, a guy called Konrad Kostetschke. Sorry, Konrad, it's Konrad Kostetschke, I guess, um, for pointing this out to me as a comment on the previous videos. I'm not the perfect Garmin super mega expert, so I'm always learning stuff. And that's actually what I like about YouTube. You get a feedback and uh, you learn something from that even as a presenter. So thank you, Conrad, for that. I really appreciate it. Okay, people, um, have a nice Christmas. Have a happy new year. Um, I hope it's gonna be Corona-19, COVID-19 free next year, and we can all travel like we want, and then really have a good use um, of our Garmin or whatever navigation systems you use. See you, bye-bye.